I am DM Zone. This is Gamers Oasis. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. So we're going to talk about Corona's uh, hunting tasks. This will lead into some other stuff called the Enigma Keys. If you're looking for those videos, look in the top right-hand corner over here, which will uh, have links to all of that as those videos are done upon the recording of this. If they're not released, check in a couple of days. They'll be out shortly. I'm going to be releasing these together as a batch. Okay. So what is Corona's hunting task? Well, there, there's actually a series of five different hunting tasks or mining tasks that uh, have to be done eight times to collect these different ED-5 key fragments. Uh, when you get all eight of these fragments, you're able to then make a key that unlocks Enigma 1. You go back and do this again. Um, you get some reward at the end of the Enigma 1 and you start Enigma 2, uh, which is going to be more hunting tasks. Uh, you do this eight more times, you then complete that key, you then go to the Enigma 2 uh, instance, you complete that, you get that again, you go back and do the Enigma 3 uh, instance after collecting it eight more times, and guess what? No. Now you have to go do a different instance. But I'll get to that one. That one's called the Matrix. Um, you have to do that sometimes several times, depending on how lucky you are. But I'll get to that one when I talk about that. But right now, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, the tasks that you're going to be given. All right, so if you're going to be doing uh, the, one of the mining tasks, you're going to have two choices, Listerium or Oil. Now, you're right there in Port Atlantis, as you can see, as you saw me run up to uh, Corona. Um, this here is a great place for you just to go to the Acapulco uh, Islands. They have only Listerium and oil. Go ahead and do that. I did that while doing a uh, mine and craft. So I took about 50 ped. I ended up uh, getting enough to be able to do a thousand uh, click run of basic filters, uh, which I then tried to use to complete with still waiting on supplies, which is on Menorah. All of this while mayhem was going on. Um, so I try to stack my stuff together like that. If that is something you want to do, check out my earlier videos where I talk about that, um, and that might help you piece together this a little bit. Now, there's also the hunting task for hunting creatures. In this case, there's the uh, bear clites, the uh, ducky boss, the elephant looking things, you know what I'm talking about. And the <laughs> crude Kruda Tirgis, Kruda Tirgis, whatever the heck that is, the dinosaur looking things. Uh, you kill those long enough, unknown amount as you can see here. Um, I'm hunting some of the elephants and then a little bit later see me hunting some of the other ones. Um, I'm getting the keys from random drops. These are like 12, 15 minutes into killing these. I tried to find missions that correlated to killing these as well, like daily missions. Um, one of the important things to know about uh, Corona's uh, hunting tasks is you cannot do them back to back to back to back. They are they have to be done one hour apart. Initially, there was like leaderboards and there was a big race to get to the end. And the funny thing is you got all the way to the end, you got all the way to the Enigma 3 stage, you went to the Matrix, and you were not guaranteed to get the egg Again, you remember we talked about eggs earlier this year, uh, the egg um, from completing it, and you have to wait 16 hours now to complete it. So someone could be two days behind you, you could be very unlucky, and they could do it in the first time, get the egg, and be done. There's a lot of, that was some S words like scandal were used from back, back many years ago, and I'm not going to go into that into this video. But anyways that was literally a function so yes there's still a one hour delay in between each one of these it's not necessarily a one hour delay in um, turning it in and picking up a new mission it's a one hour delay from being able to get a mission and to be able to get another mission so if you go out and kill something for an hour and a half you come back you turn it in you should be able to go back and do it again i believe that is the way it worked i might be wrong if i am let me know down in the comments below and i'll try and amend it in a future video all right, so you get the first key. You're gonna go ahead and head out by Camp Icarus to go start the Enigma 1 uh, instance. If you're doing the second one, 
Uh, if you're going to go ahead and do the second one and you're catching this video at this time, you're looking to go near Camp Phoenix. It's up on top of a hill a little bit, kind of out of the way. Um, there are a lot of creatures around there. It is possible to aggro too many and have a problem. Uh, just down the hill, there's a, an actual camp with a teleporter. You won't have it unless you've been there before, um, but it's also a good place to resupply, repair it if you need that type of stuff. That particular one is not necessarily the, neither one of these first two do you have to kill. None of the three really do you have to kill a whole lot to be able to get through them. Uh, Enigma 3 instance, uh, loosely speaking, is going to be uh, southwest of Twin Peaks. Um, that video you probably want to watch the whole thing because that is the most difficult puzzle enigma uh, instance uh, of the ones it requires a lot of hand-eye coordination and just going for it because some of the stuff is timed so an interesting little fact about this particular mission is all this comes from our Wardo, uh, a crazy uncle who's rich uh, deciding that he's going to put this great treasure and he's going to make all these key fragments for these bio lock instances and then hide them all over Calypso so that people have a hard time getting them. Which is uh, kind of funny because Corona is trying to get these, but yet yeah, you are the one who gets the reward. Each one of these uh, enigmas, one, two, and three, uh, when you complete them, you're going to get a couple very cool things. You're going to get some H. Uh, DNA which allows you to revive um, from a chip that's put inside your head um, you'll get the five hour 50% um, skill boost which I use two of them um, in my mayhem my Easter mayhem to help uh, increase my skills greatly um, for the period of time um, and then you'll get a 20% extender, you'll get a, a P20 extender, I'll have links for all these. Um, and that, if you don't know what this is or if you should use it, my general rule of thumb is don't. Um, these are very finite, they're very valuable, um, has no value to you to sell because these aren't sellable. But you're going to want to hang on to these until much later on, until you have a limited weapon that is uh, very difficult or extremely good to get or you just really need this weapon to last a little bit longer. Essentially it takes some of the decay from the weapon and puts it onto uh, the extender versus putting it onto the weapon itself. Um, it helps with the efficiency of it all and that type of stuff is true but more importantly is it allows you to extend the life of a weapon that you want to keep going or maybe you're really close to being able to get to level 10 uh, and you have the ability to do that and then when you have that level 10 you have a task you want to do with it so there are these key moments you want to do that um, yeah they're very finite you're not going to get many of these unless you have a lot of money to go buy them off of the auction hall um, but anyways these are three free ones you can get eventually uh, the big reward though of course is the jumpsuit so when you get done with completing the matrix and you get the egg, I assume, and that is it, then you can go ahead and get uh, the velocity jumpsuit. And there's one for men and one for female. I'll go ahead and put that up here so you can take a look at it. I should be wearing mine at this point in time, so it uh, won't matter. I'm saying this because I haven't done it yet. I haven't got it from the matrix yet. But I will, I will. I, I, I can do the matrix more than once. I just have to wait 16 hours in between. Um, this increases my movement speed by 10%. So for clothing, if you're just trying to run around and do stuff, I like it for that. Um, I love the fact that um, I can put one of my rings on and then go up to 25%, which is maximum item bonus for movement. Um, and it's not too bad. It's a little stylish. Definitely uh, fairly hard to get. You won't be one of 3,000 people wearing the same type of thing, probably. I'm not sure this quest chain has ever been completed 3,000 times. Uh, so we'll see uh, what the people's thoughts are down below. Maybe there's a lot of people out there with me. I just don't know about it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, keep looking for them. I will have those other videos coming out about two days apart from each other. Um, so we'll go ahead and have those coming out here shortly. Thank you. Hope you enjoy this. And keep her in that bed.